Material Kingdom, Second Level Main City, Silver City, Central Square. Joe Nan resolutely walked towards Daytime Angel Raken. Daytime Angel Raken is a female four winged angel, nearly 2.5 meters tall, with two pairs of white wings behind her back, a halo on her head, wearing silver armor, war skirt holding a golden scepter, and a proud chest, a pair of thighs are straight, long and white. She is the guardian of this silver city, a mission NPC without much intelligence. This scorpion is here again. I want to hug the thighs of the day mate again. To be honest, I also want to hug, if I can survive. Really warrior. At least he did what we wanted to do but didn't dare to do, and more than once. Idiot. Many players around were talking. Joe Nan looked calm. Ignorant mortals. What do you know? Brother Nan, I'm going to be done. With a smile on his face, he came to the daytime angel Raken and opened his arms. Big baby, brother Nan, I'm here again. After said, he tightly hugged Diane's thigh, pressed his cheeks up, and even pinched Diane's buttocks with both hands. It's so soft. He said happily. Then the next moment, thunder fell from the sky, and Joe Nan's eyes went black. He was killed. Angel's white thighs, how can you hug it if you want? That has a price. Ding, dear card warrior, you were killed by the special NPC guardian of Silver City Daytime Servant Raken. It is judged to be a special sanction, your level is cleared, and you return to the initial state. Ding. You have been sanctioned 369 times by Daytime Envoy Raken. Congratulations for completing the only hidden achievement Angel Thigh Hug. You will be rewarded with a lucky scroll. Joe Nan's eyes lit up, he has returned to his secret camp. The Angel hugged 369 thighs, squeezed 369 butt, and finally got a lucky scroll. This wave is not bad. Joe Nan smiled with joy. He opened the storage backpack and took out a golden scroll from it, which was the Lucky Scroll. Lucky Scroll, a special item, after using it, a lucky event will be opened to change your job to hide your profession or receive a hidden card. 369 deaths, 69 days, 4 hours, 12 minutes, just for you, come on, change my fate against the sky today, I want to rise. Joe Nan quickly unfolded the scroll, and suddenly a golden light fell from the sky and fell on top of his head. Ding, use the lucky scroll successfully, you will be transferred to the only hidden occupation Black Card Emperor. Ding, this class has talent Black Card Synthesis, please check it yourself. After the system prompt ended, Joe Nan's golden light dissipated, and he quickly called up his attribute panel. Name, Joe Nan nickname. Not set yet level, 1, 0% HP, 100 mana, 100 occupation, black card emperor, the only hidden, skill point, 1 game points, 0 game coins, 0 diamond, 0 general skills, appraisal LV0, consuming skill points to open, appraise a card, get its detailed information, after the card appraisal, it will be bound to you and cannot be traded. General skills. Return to City LV0, expend skill points to turn on, use the ability to return to the city, quickly return to your secret camp. General skills, card strengthening, collect relevant materials to increase the star rating of your card, depending on the specific situation, consume varying mana. General skills, card synthesis, according to the secret recipe of synthesis, multiple cards can be combined to increase the color level of the card. Depending on the situation, the consumption of mana is different. Professional Talent, Black Card Synthesis, exclusive to the Black Card Emperor. No secret recipe is required for card synthesis. A variant Black Card must be synthesized, but only two cards can be used to synthesize each time. Recasting and Decomposition Affected by this talent, all conventional card synthesis recipes are invalid for you. When your level reaches the required level, this talent can be advanced and strengthened. Reminder, 
black card synthesis may not become stronger, please do not use brainless synthesis. Professional skills, not yet opened. There is no secret recipe for card synthesis, this is still not taking off. I hugged angel thighs 369 times, and finally ascended the throne today. Jonan is very happy and feels that the hard work of more than two months is worthwhile. In this real world of card games, players like them are all card warriors, everything can be cards, and cards are their weapons. There are five types of conventional cards, namely white card, green card, blue card, purple card, and orange card. Among them, the white card is the worst card and the easiest to obtain. Green cards are one level higher than white cards. They are much rarer and more powerful. Nowadays, most players may not be able to collect a set of green cards. The blue card is even more rare. As long as you have one, you can raise your head when you go out and act as a boss. Purple cards and orange cards are still legends, at least Jonan has never heard of any player owning them. In addition to regular cards, there are special cards, such as red cards and black cards. Its color does not represent the strength of the card. It just shows that the card is special. It may be as as the white card, but it may also be comparable to the orange card. In short, special cards are rare nowadays, occasionally appearing in trading houses, and the prices are very high. In addition, cards can be upgraded through card strengthening and card synthesis. Generally speaking, card strengthening means to upgrade a card to a star enhance its original ability, or open its hidden ability. The card has a minimum of 1 star and a maximum of 9 stars. Card synthesis You can change the color of the card, for example, upgrade the card from white to green. But card enhancement and card synthesis require secret recipes. Strengthening must be based on the strengthening secret recipe to gather strengthening materials, and the synthesis must also be based on the secret recipe to gather synthetic cards. If there is no secret recipe, random enhancement or synthesis is not acceptable, because once the enhancement or synthesis fails, the original card and materials will be destroyed. Some synthetic secret recipes will be given in the card attribute information, and some require players to explore by themselves. In short, synthetic secret recipes are still very precious, and even if you have a secret recipe, you must collect relevant materials according to the secret recipe. Yu.yukansha.com is inevitably time-consuming and labor-intensive. Nowadays, it is difficult for most players to improve the card level through card synthesis. Most of them use whatever card is identified, at most it is to rise to stars. If you want to become stronger, you have to keep changing card. And Joe Nan. The black card emperor has professional talents, and can be forcibly synthesized without the need for secret recipes. The regular card warrior has no professional talents. In order to complete the hidden achievement of holding thighs, I used it for 69 days. Now mainstream players should be up at level 20, and we need to catch up. Jonan thought with excitement. He has been in this world for more than half a year and he feels that he can finally change his fate and get out of the ordinary. After being sanctioned by the daytime messenger, Jonan is now in his initial state, which is equivalent to just starting the game, so he can receive an initial card from the card goddess for free. The card goddess, to be precise, is the card goddess statue, which is a building in the secret camp. The secret camp is owned by every player, and other players are not allowed to enter. There are five initial buildings in it, warehouse, trading house, mission hall, teleportation array, and the statue of the card goddess. As the player's level increases in the future, more buildings can be unlocked and buildings can be upgraded. Joe Nan came to the statue of the card goddess in a light car, bowed his hand and said, Give me a superb card. As you wish. The card goddess made a sound and then a white light condensed in front of Jonan and turned into a card. Ding, congratulations on successfully receiving the initial card. Ding, you got a one -a star white card snow bear? Pan Storm. The item has been bound and will be automatically stored in your storage backpack. Please check it yourself.
Card name, Snow Bear. Panbao, bound, not for sale, card color, white card star number, one star card type, summoning card usage level, none mana consumption, 10 explanation 1, summon snow bear. Panstorm to fight for you. Panstorm has 5000 HP, 1030 attack power, 1 HP regeneration per second, 0 magic value, thick skin, good melee, no skills. Positioned as a melee meat shield. Description 2 Use Snow Stones times 2 to upgrade this card to 2 stars through card strengthening. A meat bear, it is worthless without skills. Joe Nan shook his head, he looked at the attribute information of Card Goddess again. Statue, Card Goddess category, Building level, LV1 function, use 100 points to redeem a random card here. Card appearance probability, White card 100% upgrade requirement, diamond times 10 description, upgrade the goddess statue to increase the chance of high quality cards. The card goddess statue is an important building in the secret camp, where players can consume game points to draw cards, while the LV1 goddess statue can only draw white cards. Only by upgrading it can it be possible to draw high evil cards. Card You need diamonds to upgrade the card goddess statue. Diamonds are very precious materials. They are much harder to earn than game points. Jonan has never raised the card goddess statue to LV2 anyway. It is said that currently players have upgraded it to LV3, and there is a chance of drawing a blue card. If you want to test my professional talents, I don't want to have a white card. At least I have to get another one, yes, novice mission. Joe Nan turned around and ran towards the mission hall. The secret camp of all players is the same at the beginning, with only five buildings, namely warehouse, trading bank, task hall, teleport array and statue of card goddess. Warehouse is a place for storing materials. The shape is a large treasure box as high as a two-story building. It also needs to consume diamonds to upgrade. After the upgrade, the storage space can be increased. Transaction Bank is a virtual online shopping platform. It is a huge display in the secret camp. It is a non-upgradable building. Players can use it to perform operations such as stalls, consignment, auctions, and purchases. The transaction does not charge any handling fees. Teleportation Array is a necessary building for players to leave the secret camp and go to the big world for adventure. Using teleportation array does not need to consume any resources, but the teleportation point must be activated first. Mission Hall is also a non-upgradable building. It is the most magnificent building in the secret camp. It is about 5 feet high and magnificent. There are 4 huge displays inside, showing the various tasks that players can claim. In addition, the Mission Hall also has a built-in chat room system which makes it easy for players to communicate. The tasks in the task hall are divided into four categories, personal exclusive tasks, dungeon tasks, collection tasks, and challenge tasks. At the beginning of the game, players can receive a novice trial task in the task hall. The task is extremely simple, that is, use cards to fight a battle, kill a game chicken, the task is completed and other task systems and systems can be unlocked. Chat room system, and can receive a random white card. This newbie trial task is currently the only task that Joe Nan can receive. Ding, dear black card emperor, you have received the novice trial quest, the teleportation array temporarily activates the novice trial field teleport point, please bring your card and get ready to fight. Joe Nan ran to the teleportation array without waiting for the system prompt to end. This teleportation array, he is the most familiar with it. First select the teleportation location, there is only one at present, that is, the novice proving ground, click OK, and then the black and bright in front of him, Joe Nan came to a place similar to the ancient Roman Colosseum. Ten meters in front of him, stood a fat chicken half human, that is, a battle chicken, a dumb-headed man with only 1,000 health and only a little offensive power. Jonan was not polite, 
took out a one star white card snow bear pan bao and threw it on the ground, consuming ten magic points, and the card turned into a giant bear with a bang. This giant bear has a blood bar on its head. It is snow bear pan bao. It has a white coat and is similar to a polar bear in reality, but it is fatter and looks quite bulky. General Pan Bo, go to battle and kill the enemy. Joe Nan can control Snow Bear Pan Storm through his mind. After giving an order, Snow Bear Pan Storm pounced on Game Chicken and attacked with a pair of bear paws. There is no suspense in this battle. Snow Bear Pan Bao can deal about 15 points of damage per hit and he has 5,000 points of health, not to mention a game chicken, even a group of game chicken nor is it its opponent. After the battle, Jonan was directly teleported back to the secret camp. Snow Bear Pan Bao also changed back to a card and returned to his storage backpack. Ding, congratulations on successfully passing the novice trial, and reward you with a random white card. Ding, the dungeon mission system the collection mission system, the challenge mission system, and the chat room system are unlocked. Please set your game nickname. Ding, start a personal mission. Please upgrade to level 10 as soon as possible to unlock the first professional skill. Upon completion of the mission, you will be rewarded with 100 game coins, 100 game points and a random white card. Ding. Congratulations on obtaining the three-star white card Nightcat Daskar, the item has been bound and automatically stored in your storage backpack, please check it yourself. Samsung Card Jonan quickly opened the storage backpack, and there was already a white card inside. He took out this white card, quite surprised. I actually got a Nightcat card. Still Samsung. Nightcat card can now be regarded as a star card. UU reading www.uugonshu.com Nightcat is a kind of agile assassin type summoned beast, the output ability is considered good in the white card, if you can collect 9 Nightcat cards, it will trigger a small special effect of 9 life cat, 9 Nightcats can share the damage, die together with each other, or die if they don't die. So many novice players want to form a Nightcat card group at the beginning so that even the 1 star white night cat card is very popular. My own 3 star night cat card, if it can be hung in the trading bank, it can sell for a thousand gold coins. Unfortunately, it is bound and cannot be sold. Aren't you irritating? Joe Nan murmured, before he wanted to form a set of night cat cards, so he took great pains and collected 5 cards. Later, because he was too poor and couldn't afford to play, he went astray, staring at the trading house every day, and started working. Erdeo's dealer's job is dedicated to reselling Nightcat cards, selling them at low prices and selling them at high prices. He has been busy for more than a week and earned more than a thousand gold coins. Later, he discovered that these more than a thousand gold coins were not as valuable as his previous five Nightcat cards. After working for more than a week, it is better to do nothing. Although it is a 3-star night cat card, it can't make up a 9-life cat, it is not much value, and it can't be sold. It is synthesized. Joe Nan is not entangled. At this moment, the snow bear card in the left hand and the night cat card in the right hand, with both hands, the card synthesis skill is activated. Ding, it takes 40 mana points to synthesize a card. May I ask if you synthesize it? Synthesize. Ding, affected by the talent of black card synthesis, this time the card synthesis has created a synthetic secret recipe. The one star white card snow bear? Pan Bao and the three star white card night cat card? Daska must synthesize mutations. Black card, calculating. Ding, congratulations on the two star black card panda panda. Card name, panda. Panda, bound, not for sale, card color, black card star number, two stars card type, summoning card usage level, none mana consumption, 20 explanation 1, summon panda, panda to fight for you, panda, panda has 15,000 health, 1,020 attack power, 3 health regeneration points per second, 
Armor 1, Physical Damage Reduction 5.7%, and Attack Speed 1.0, once per second, with the passive skill Smash Attack LV1, each attack has a 5% chance to cause 30 damage to all enemy targets within 3 meters, and is positioned as a melee meat shield. Description 2, Use Wild Gems times 3 to upgrade this card to Samsung through card strengthening. Wow Roast, 15,000 health points. With skills, green card configuration, take off. Jonan is overjoyed. White card summoned beasts generally do not have skills, green card summoned beasts have skills, and only one. Is this Twostar black card panda panda comparable to a green card? Simple and simple single synthesis, directly fascinated. Shuang turned over. 15,000 health points, this flesh is much stronger than the snow bear. Is the attack power a bit watery, only 10 to 20? Fortunately, there is smash attack LV1, plus passive range damage, this panda panda it can be considered to be able to fight and resist. Jonan was excited in his heart, God got stuck in his hand, and naturally wanted to take it out to show off his might. He didn't waste time, and quickly ran to the mission hall. I want to take up the task, I want to rise. Jonan expertly came to the dungeon task window, first set his own game nickname, called Black Card Emperor. And the best task for novices is Guardian Kazaner. This is a four-person Guardian dungeon mission, limited to players below level 10 to receive, it can be described as the hottest dungeon mission at the moment. Mission Introduction the power from the deep sea is beginning to recover. The evil murlocs are eyeing the peaceful and peaceful fishing village of Kazana, and they are preparing to assemble an attack. The kind villagers are in danger. Warriors, please rush to Kazana. Repelled nine waves of murloc attacks within 100 minutes and killed murloc leader Shirayan. Receive consumption, none. Level limit, less than 10 levels. Task description. This guardian task allows four people to team up, and the tacit cooperation can make it easier for you to pass the level. You can choose to enter other people's game rooms, or create your own game room, click here to view the game room list. Currently selectable difficulty, N1. Clearance rewards, experience treasure box times one, material treasure box times one, village chief's gift box times one. Jonan checked the mission description of Guardian Kasana and found that there was no change from the previous, so he opened the chat room channel related to this mission. You can see a list of game rooms in this chat room channel, and there are many players talking. Kasanir N1, come and have fun. N1, come to meet Shield, click me into the group. N2, don't come rubbish. N1 takes the boss, 100 gold each time. 3 weights 1, come to the boss. Quick pass N1, do not disturb the rookie, refuse to enter the room below level 5. N1, please bring me, kind boss come in. N3 lacks output, come with confidence. N3, silly batch. The chat room is very lively. Jonan looked around at random, and quickly clicked on a game room named N1, come to Super Meat Shield. Then, he saw the room interface and activated the room chat channel. Here comes one. Fuck, level one, no clearances, pure newcomer. What the hell? A new player who just came to the card world. Go, buddy, you are too weak to carry. There are already three players in this game room, chat bubbles on their avatars, and voices are heard. Ignorant mortals. Although I am at level one, I have a magic card. Just as Joe Nan wanted to talk about how strong his panda panda is, a prompt window suddenly popped up in front of him. Dear player, you have been kicked out of the game room by the host a shot through 800 miles away. Your uncle. Seeing this prompt window, Joe Nan's eyes stared, this is despised. My wee foo visits, you don't recognize it. No matter, I won't take you. I will go to another room. Jonan then entered a room called N1 Veteran and immediately shouted, I'm a veteran, don't kick me. Just finished shouting, 
and a prompt window popped up in front of him, Dear player, you have been kicked out of the room by the host veteran. Kick kick, kick your uncle, I'm such a veteran. Joe Nan was very upset, and quickly changed another room, N1, come here anytime. Do whatever you want. This time it's okay. Joe Nan felt stable. After entering the room, he found that there were already three players in the room. The host's nickname was Whatever You Want, Level 3, Level 1 Clearance. The second ranked player's nickname is Global Invisible Rich, Level 1, and the number of clearances is 0. The third player's nickname I will choose Lee by, Level 4, Number of Clearances 3. Then there is Joe Nan's game information, his nickname is Black Card Emperor, Level 1, 0 clearances. It looks like they are all newbies, won't they collapse? This time it was Joe Nan's turn to whisper. You should know that this card world is not all players coming at the same time. Joe Nan is considered the first batch. After that, a large number of new players come every day. Joe Nan cannot figure out whether these three big brothers are really new people or are with him. The same as an old man with a story. At this time, the homeowner come as you wish said, everyone is here, click to prepare and drive. Wait a minute. Global Invisible Rich is a female player with a soft voice, should we not divide the labor first? Who is the meat, who is the output, who is the treatment? I first declare that my card is a summoning card. The summoned beast is positioned as a melee assassin and cannot be resisted. I will choose Lee by said, and one is just, just pass it, what division of labor do you need? Regal girls are pure newcomers? It doesn't matter, relax, I will take you, I have five cards. Global invisible rich man, thank you. Joe Nan faintly felt unreliable at this time, listening to that I want to choose Lee Bai is not like a veteran, and it is probably a half-pole newcomer. Fortunately, Joe Nan was very confident in his one-a-star black card Panda Panda, and said, let's drive. Soon. The host of UU Reading www.ukansha.com just come started the game. After the five second countdown, Joe Nan's body was directly teleported. As soon as his eyes were black and bright, he came to the small fishing village Kasana, the square in the village. Ding, warriors, the evil murloc will attack in three minutes, please be prepared for battle. Ding, please protect the village chief Blair. If Blair dies, the guard is judged to fail and the game ends early. After the system prompt sounded, Joe Nan saw the other three players. Just come here it is a tall and thin man wearing a bronze face mask and carrying an iron gun. He immediately said coldly, I will guard East Road, and make sure you don't miss the blame. The three of you are optimistic about South Road and West Road. Road. After speaking, the man hurried to the east with an iron gun. I choose Lee Bai as a thin young man who looks like a 25 or 60 year old. He holds his arms and stares at the global invisible rich. The latter is a pretty female player who looks pretty young, maybe less than 20 years old. Sister Regal, come and come, you follow me, and I will take you to guard the West Road. Who, the Haika Emperor? It's okay for you to guard the South Road? There are two Archer NPCs on the South Road can make it to the third wave. I will choose Lee Bai after finishing speaking, before Joe Nan could answer, he enthusiastically pulled the global invisible rich and went west. Joe Nandeo, wait a minute, don't you guys move bricks? Move bricks? What bricks to move? Only when carving silk to move bricks. I choose Lee Bai waved his hand and left. Joe Nan was taken aback, saying that none of these three would be good at it. Don't even know the brick moving task? I have met a real novice group. Joe Nan recalled. The small fishing village of Kazanal is facing south, and there is an avenue in the east, south, and west directions. The avenue is about one mile long, and at the end is the portal where the murlocs attacked. The little murlocs spawned out through the portal. Three groups of troops were dispatched at the same time. There were nine waves in a wave of ten minutes. 
In the first wave, 100 murlocs were spawned from each of the three monster outlets, and one for each subsequent wave. Hundreds, and waves 3, 6, and 9 are boss levels. In addition to the murloc, a murloc boss will be spawned. Usually the third wave will spawn murloc warrior. Lee Jason, players like to call it Big Carp. The sixth wave will bring out murloc warrior. Catfish, players like to call it Two Catfish. The ninth wave will spawn a big boss, that is, murloc leader. Shark, known as Old Shark. On N1 difficulty, the little murloc has 30 health and 1 2 attack power. The life value of the big carp is 300, and the attack power is 1020. Two catfish has a life value of 600, and its attack power is also 1020. The old shark is amazing, with a health value of 3000 and a constant attack power of 100. Each time the difficulty of the dungeon increases, the attribute data of these monsters will double. For example, in the difficulty of N2, the blood volume of the little murloc will increase to 60, and it can reach 480 in the difficulty of N5, which is the life value of the old shark. It can even reach 48,000. Whether the defense can be successful, in fact, the key depends on the boss. There are six NPCs in the village. The village chief Blair stands alone on the village square with only 100 health points. The two archers, Martin and Marco, are guarding not far from the strange exit of the village. The remaining three NPCs are hidden in thatched huts in the village. One is the captain of the lame guard, Kaker, who can issue the fortification mission. This task is called the task of moving bricks by the players. Players need to find bricks from around the village, and then move to the east and west entrances of the village. Each entrance of the two villages of N1 difficulty needs to move 100 bricks. The difficulty is increased by one level. The number has doubled. After the mission is completed, Kaker will walk out of the thatched hut and quickly build fortifications in the east and west of the village. The fortification is actually a stone wall. After it is completed, the three-way murloc invaders will gather at the southern entrance of the village so it is enough to concentrate on the defense at the southern entrance of the village. There is no need to take care of the three-way, and the defensive pressure will be much lower. The fourth NPC is named Cleolu, a carpenter, hiding in a thatched house in the northwest corner of the village. He can issue logging tasks. From him, he can get a logging axe. After getting it, go to the north of the village and find it. A big tree can be chopped down with a hundred cuts. After cutting down, you can harvest 50 lumber. After the accumulation of lumber reaches 200, Kluru will walk out of the house and repair the two defensive towers in the south of the village. If the two archers in the southern part of the village have not been killed at this time, you can find them to trigger a dialogue, and then the two village guards will return to the village, climb up the guard tower, and defend on it. The range can be increased to 100 meters. The attack power is about 30 o'clock, basically can kill a little murloc with one arrow. However, this task must be completed as soon as possible to make sense. It is best to complete it before the fourth wave of murlocs, otherwise you have to take care of the two village guards. If they are killed by the murlocs, the guard tower will be abandoned. The last NPC is Pharmacist Kakaro. She hides in the thatched hut behind the village chief. She can issue collection tasks. You need to go to the woods to the north of the village to collect three green mushrooms, six magic grasses, and four hemostatic plants. After the task is completed, Kakaro can prepare a bottle of healing potion, give this potion to the village chief Blair to take it, and he will shine, and release the healing spell covering the entire village every minute to restore all players and summoned beasts. 10% of the health value. For newcomers, if these tasks are completed, it will be much easier to clear the level, even if the card is not good, the difficulty of clearing the level N1 is not a big problem. Of course, the difficulty of N1 is better. Even if you don't complete these tasks, if the player has a good card, he can resist the past. In fact, 
there are six wild monsters in the woods to the north of the village that can be constantly refreshed and resurrected. After killing, there is a chance to drop materials or special items. Give some special items to different NPCs in the village to get different rewards, even reach hidden achievements. However, ordinary newcomers are busy resisting the little murlocs all the time, and they don't have the time to hunt monsters and treasures. Finally, I'll bring the bricks and I'll be a newcomer. Jonan slapped the one star black card in front of him, and immediately consumed his mana at twenty. With a bang, the card became a giant panda the size of a rhino. This giant panda was sitting on the ground, fleshy, with small black eyes, and arms thicker than Jonan's waist. It scratched his belly with his paws. It looked cute and mighty. General Panda, you are here to guard, I will move bricks, if there is a murloc invading, shoot him. Jonan drank a word. Panda? Panda defaulted to fighting on its own. It roared, and its two front paws fluttered to the ground, then shook its head and patrolled the village entrance, twisting and twisting its ass. This panda has 15,000 health points, and the key is a little armor. Physical damage is reduced by 5.7%, and the degree of flesh is not to say. And the little murlocs of difficulty N1 have only 30 health points and 1 to 2 attack power. If they hit panda panda, unless they hit the maximum damage, which is 2 points, the damage is not enough, and the system will not break the defense by default. Panda will not lose blood. Jonan doesn't need to look at it. Panda Panda must be able to resist thieves. As long as it is triggered by a smash attack, it will be great. All the little murlocs all around have to kneel. Moreover, that I choose Li Bai is right. Under the difficulty of N1, the village guards Martin and Marco can resist three waves of murloc attacks. They don't have to worry about them at all, as long as there are two murlocs from east to west. If there is no leakage, then the problem is not big. Now that Panda is guarding the village, it is even more foolproof. Jonan rolled up his cuffs, found the hidden NPC guard Captain Caker, activated the mission, and went to move the bricks. He was very familiar with this set of procedures two months ago, but the task will not be fast. Players can only move one brick at a time. UU reading www.uugonshu.com If Jonan does the task of moving bricks by himself, then you have to move 200 yuan, 200 trips back and forth. Jonan has experience in moving bricks. He felt that even if he ran wild during the whole journey, all the bricks and stones would be brushed at the entrance of the village. After moving 200 bricks, it would take more than 20 minutes. But what can you do now? Call the three big guys to come back and move bricks together? Everyone runs away for you, maybe it takes more time. Jonan has the consciousness of single pass. If you want single pass, you must do well fortifications. Once the fortifications are done, the panda will be the gate and Wanfa will open. This is much more important than the two towers. The three heroes, don't even be unable to hold the first three waves. Jonan murmured, this is what he fears most now. Actually, Jonan could ask Panda Panda to go to the south of the village to guard the monsters, but he was afraid that his allies would be unreliable. If a few missed monsters stole the house, then he would be depressed. In short, let Panda Panda sit in the village more securely. Soon, the regional announcement sounded, the deep sea power spread, the murloc teleportation array is activated the first wave of murloc attack is opened, and the information panel is generated. At this time, Jonan had moved 21 bricks in the east of the village. He looked up at the sky, and there was a huge display screen just south. Task, guarding Kazaner countdown to the end of the game, 99,59 difficulty level, N1 current remaining intruders, 15603-15603 killing the enemy statistics. Player 1 come as you please 0. Player 2 I choose Li Bai, 0. Player 3 Global Invisible Rich 0. Player 4 Black Card Emperor, 0. The huge display is the information panel, 
which dynamically displays task information, which will be included in almost all copies. Zhou Nan glanced quickly and didn't care. He continued to move bricks. After a while, the regional announcement sounded again, all offensive murlocs have been eliminated. You have a rest time of 5 minutes and 26 seconds. After 5 minutes and 26 seconds, the second wave of murlocs will attack. Every wave of murloc attacks will finish all the murlocs within 3 minutes. If the mob removal efficiency is high enough, kill all the murlocs before the next wave of murlocs will naturally get a break. Jonan teamed up with others before, and some players took advantage of the rest time to go wild in the woods to the north of the village. At this time, Jonan was in a hurry, he had already collected 64 bricks in the east of the village. A moment later, when the second wave of murlocs had been wiped out, Jonan had already moved 146 bricks. At this time, the situation is still stable, and there are still no murlocs rushing to the entrance of the village. Regional announcement, the third wave of murloc offensive is about to begin, murloc warrior Lee Jason is about to appear, please be prepared for battle. It's the boss level, I don't know which way the big carp will be swiped, I hope the three heroes can hold it. Jonan looked up at the information panel, now 23 minutes of game time have passed, and the remaining time is less than 80 minutes. The total number of monsters is 15,603, 900 have been eliminated, and the defensive pressure will increase sharply in the future. Just come here kill 300 enemies. I choose Li Bai kill the enemy 299. Global Invisible Rich kill the enemy 2. Zhou Nan kills the enemy 0. The other 300 mobs were killed by the village guard Martin and Marco. At this time, at the strange exit of the West Road, in the teleportation array like a ball of light, the little murloc charged out holding a small knife high. These little murlocs are less than one meter tall, and they look quite funny, just like big fish with thin arms and legs. They wobbled as they walked, holding a paper knife in their hands, babbling. Yeah, yelling, and besieged a big tortoise that was tall one by one. The big tortoise is called Rock Giant Tortoise Rocky, a one-star white card summoned beast with 5,000 health points. It is obviously a meat shield and is besieged by a group of little murlocs. Those little murlocs are like sharpening blades on the turtle shell. Their attack power is too low, and most of them can't break the defense, and occasionally they can do a little damage. The big tortoise was carried safely, and its attack power was not bad. It could kill a small murloc with one bite, but the attack speed was too slow, and it took several seconds to gnaw it. It is a card summoned beast of I choose Li Bai. Suddenly, a huge murloc about two meters high came out. The murloc had a long beard at the corner of his mouth. He was holding a machete in his hand, his eyes were big, and his name was on his head, Murloc Warrior Li Jason. Fuck, how did the big carp get to my side? It's too unlucky, it seems I have to use a spare card. Thirty meters away, I choose Li Bai murmured. He took out four white one-a-star cards from the storage backpack and threw them all on the ground. Bang bang bang, four white cards turned into summoned beasts, all of them are single-person toads, like quadruplets, with green skin. Although the names of these four toads are different, they belong to the same category. They all belong to Long Tongue Frog. They have 500 health points and 56 attack power. Ah, how come they are long tongued frogs, each with only 500 health points? What's the use of this? Isn't it a death to be surrounded by murlocs? Global Invisible Rich frowned and said. Are you doubting my strength? What do you know as a first level rookie? Put more blood on you. I choose Li Bai angrily glanced at Global Invisible Rich, this girl is not on the road, and she is not allowed to touch or hug, so what's the point of taking her by yourself? My summoned beast can't add blood, my summoned beast is a melee assassin, I said at the beginning. Global Invisible Rich said that her card is a one-a-star white card Little Hydralisk Huifang, and the summoned Little Hydralisk stands next to her, looks like a rooster covered with scales and has a health value. 
only 1,000 points. Then you, can you milk me? I'll choose Li Bai suddenly showed a squinted smile, and pointed at Global Invisible Rich's chest maliciously, if you don't breastfeed, I won't take you with you, I will do what I say. Ah, I didn't expect you to be such a person. Global Invisible Rich stomped, she was afraid that she would suffer a loss, so she quit the team directly. At this moment, a regional announcement sounded, the player Global Invisible Rich has quit the current game. Why did one run away? Joe Nan, who was working hard to move bricks, heard the regional announcement, and suddenly felt bad. West Village, I choose Lee Bai was also stunned, and then yelled unhappily, Nima, don't play it because I can't afford to play, I'm delaying my time, the most annoying for newcomers, it's hypocritical. At this time, the little murloc rushed to him. I choose Lee Bai it's okay not to release the long tongue frog. The little murloc has a hatred value setting and will always surround the rock turtle. The inner circle is dead and the outer circle is filled, but I choose Lee Bai released long tongue frogs, some of the little murlocs waiting to sharpen their blades transferred their hatred to the long tongue frogs, and rushed over with their small blades. Long tongue frogs are not as resistant as rock turtles. The little murlocs can cut at least a bit of damage with a single knife. I choose Li Bai with a flash of magic, dozens of little murlocs surrounded the four long tongue frogs and gathered together. Attack, the sword sees blood. One, one, two, one. In a short moment, the blood bars of the four long tongue frogs were reduced by a half. I choose Li Bai I panic. If the summoned beast dies, its summoning card cannot be used within 24 hours. At this time, Murloc Warrior Big Carp also launched an attack on the Rock Turtle. Every time it was cut, it would basically deal more than 10 points of damage. I'll choose Li Bai take a look, this is no good, lack of thugs, his summoned beast is purely a sandbag, steadily losing blood, isn't it waiting to die? He glanced at the information panel and felt even more depressed. The nickname Emperor Haika doesn't even have a single kill now. This Nima paddling is too hard, Yu Yu reading www.yuyuganshu.com smashed Laozi, how can I play it? It's the third wave, and there are no kills, and the gods can't move it. Such stupid criticism. I will choose Li Bai so I accepted the card, and left the team without saying anything, that is, I quit the game. Regional announcement. The player I will choose Li Bai has quit the current game, and leave a message, he approves the Emperor of the Black Card, I will delay my time, please quit. Zhou Nan heard this regional announcement and wanted to spit out old blood. Your grandma, you retired and then retired. Why did you still spray me? I asked you to provoke you. Zhou Nangzhen said that the casual novice team just can't make it, and the big guys are too casual. Fortunately, there is another big boss, hold on to me, and I will take you through the customs. Zhou Nan was muttering so, suddenly another regional announcement sounded, the player come here is dead. The formation, was killed. These are all gods from somewhere, didn't they say that they are guaranteed not to be strange? Zhou Nan felt convinced. In this dungeon mission, the player's hatred value is extremely low. The little murloc will only attack the player when there are no summoned beasts and NPCs around. If the player is killed, it is equivalent to being taken out of the game in advance. Also, players can run, so death in battle is not common. I have moved the bricks for nearly half an hour, come here. I ran away, there is only one lonely man in this copy. Is this for me to play single pass? Jonan rolled his cuffs. Now he has moved 176 bricks. Before the murloc mobs rush to the village, he is still very likely to complete the task of moving bricks. Then, let Panda Panda guard the front door. Maybe he can really play a single game. Pass. I have been moving bricks for so long, so I just give up. I really don't want to be reconciled. Jonan worked harder to move bricks. Block 177, Block 178, 
Block 179. At this time, it is a race against time. Whether or not the fortifications can be completed before the murlocs enter the village is the key to whether this game can be played. Soon, Jonan had already seen the little murlocs swaying from east and west. Good fellow, the big carp is full of blood. Jonan felt helpless, the three newcomers big guys were too bad, the little murlocs didn't kill a few, and the big carp was in a state of fullness, not as good as Martin and Marco in the south of the village. At least these two village guards can block the third wave, and even if they encounter a big carp, they can die desperately. Of course, this is their limit, and the two village guards will definitely not be able to hold the fourth wave. Fight. Joe Nan quickly rushed to a brick that was refreshed in front of the west entrance of the village, and quickly picked it up. This is the 197th brick, which is three pieces short. Chong, Chong. Chong. Joe Nan shouted, the 198th brick was moved, and the 199th brick was moved. Finally, he moved the last brick to the entrance of the village. Captain Guard, come out and build a wall for me. Joe Nan yelled, and the captain of the guard quickly rushed out of the thatched hut. Holding a ash shovel in each hand, he shouted, the captain is a good wall builder. The fortifications are completed immediately and cover me. Cover your hammer. Joe Nan murmured, but he also directed Panda Panda to guard the captain of the guard. If the captain of the guard was killed while laying the wall, it would be a tragedy. The captain of the guard is not bad at all. He first came to the east entrance of the village, his hands danced out shadows, the bricks were automatically stacked, and a thick wall was built in a minute and then he ran to the west entrance of the village to continue waving. Double knife. After a dazzling operation, Joe Nan heard the melodious copy announcement, the fortifications have been built. Success. Joe Nan is overjoyed, the fortifications are completed, then you only need to concentrate on guarding the south gate of the village. At this time the little murlocs from the east and west roads had already swarmed up, Joe Nan did not dare to hesitate and rushed to the south of the village with Panda Panda. Good fellow, the murlocs have been killed. Joe Nan hurriedly asked Panda Panda to come forward to fight. The little murloc quickly encircled Panda Panda. The small knife rubbed Panda Panda with no rush, but basically they couldn't fight. Harm. Panda Panda's attack power was extremely hip, only 1,020, and he slapped it with a heavy palm which seemed to be able to slap the little murloc, but he couldn't lose half of his blood. Suddenly, there was a boom, as if a big drum was being beaten, Joe Nan felt the ground tremble. And Panda Panda has a dense circle of injury numbers all over his body, all thirty within three meters of his whole body, all the little murlocs fell on their backs neatly. The scene was shocking. This is smash attack LV1 triggered. With the crowdedness of the little murlocs, Panda Panda's attack may have killed hundreds of them in a second. The little murloc who was killed quickly decayed, leaving only a light blue trace on the ground in the blink of an eye, and the little murloc behind quickly made up for it. It's really exciting, this smashing attack, I am afraid that it will hit 3000 damage up. The smashing attack only has a 5% chance of triggering, which is still too low. Joe Nan looked at Panda Panda's blood bar, and it was firm but the little murloc boss, Big Carp, came up. This huge murloc could chop off Panda Panda with 15 points of blood with his first knife. Dare you dare to challenge Admiral Panda with a small carp? Joe Nan said something disdainfully. The life value of the Big Carp is only 300 points. Joe Nan felt that Panda Panda's death was not a problem, but many ants killed elephants. Panda Panda's blood loss was slow but it kept falling. Sooner or later, he had to finish the game. So Joe Nan immediately went to the collection task. If the collection task is completed, the village chief player will release a healing technique every minute, and every time all players, NPCs, summoned beasts, etc. in the village are recovered 10% of the blood, then Panda Panda's support to the final murloc leader will not be a problem. Unfortunately, it's too late to do the sentry mission, 
the two village guards are dead. Zhou Nan feels a little pity. He was also very proficient in the collection task. He knew the location of all the medicinal materials for the mission, so he triggered the task and collected the medicinal materials in one go. It took less than ten minutes. All the medicinal materials were collected. Han Taihu sent the materials to the medicine. The teacher Kakalo approached, and she used magic to make a bottle of potion. Zhou Nan gave the potion to the village chief Blair. The white-beard and white-haired NPC drank the potion with a grunt. His face was radiant on the spot. He threw the potion bottle to the ground and shouted, Go on, I will cover. Area notice, village chief Blair has gained the healing aura skill. At the end of the system prompt, a blue halo aroused from Blair's body and surged to all directions like ocean waves. Panda Panda was swept away by this halo, good fellow, his blood bar was instantly full. Cowhide, 666. Joe Nan yelled from the side, and within two seconds, with a bang, Panda Panda's smashing attack was triggered again. A circle of murlocs and the murloc little boss Big Carp fell to the ground at the same time, and soon decayed. Dissipate. With a ding sound, the Big Carp actually dropped an item. In this dungeon game, the little murloc will not drop items at all, and the chance of dropping items by the murloc boss and the murloc leader is not high. UU reading www.uuganshu.com Joe Nangzen said that he was lucky, and quickly stepped forward to pick up the items dropped by the big carp. Kasanar's treasure map? 1. Special items. Collect a total of three treasure map fragments to synthesize a complete treasure map. Carrying a complete treasure map can be in a copy of Guardian Kasana on any difficulty. Digging for treasures in the woodland behind the village. Treasure map fragment? Let me think about it. Joe Nan vaguely remembered seeing Ka's treasure map. Second, it seemed that Merman fighter Katsuka had a chance to drop, but he had never seen the third. I don't know if anyone has opened this treasure. Anyway, in my impression, I have never heard anyone say. Joe Nan thought for a while, first put away treasure map fragment 1. At this time, the little murloc has reached the fifth wave. Panda Panda is an unsentimental killing machine. It does not move, one paw and one claw attacking the close little murloc without any haste, every time with a thud. When the smash attack is triggered, a large area of murlocs can be cleared. And the healing magic of the village chief Blair gave Panda Panda a powerful ability, and his life value was always maintained at four-fifths. In the sixth wave, 600 little murlocs will be drawn from the three monsters respectively. The second little murloc boss also appeared. It is murloc fighter? Silica, this little boss is holding a shot. Euphorbia, the attack distance can reach 2.5 meters. He came to the entrance of the village, stood with Panda Panda, and knocked out Panda Panda's nearly 2,000 health points. As a result, he was shaken to death by twenty crushing attacks, but it was a pity that nothing fell out. Afterwards, more murlocs are chicken feed, Panda Panda kills easily and freely, until the last wave, the murloc leader Sharia appears. The murloc leader Sharia is nearly three meters tall. He looks like a human-shaped shark with the armor on his body and holding a golden trident. He looks very mighty. His HP is as high as three thousand and his attack power is as high as 100. There is also a skill called Sweep All Directions, which is used to swipe the trident in your hand to the surrounding area, causing physical damage of three times the attack power to all enemy targets in a 360-degree circular area of 5 meters in diameter. It can be used in one minute. Trigger Once Newcomer players are most afraid of this trick sweeping all directions. The weak cards are often destroyed under the trident of the murloc leader, failing to achieve success. However, Panda Panda has 15,000 health points, which is not worthy of sharks. Boom 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 boom. After a smashing attack cleared all the little murlocs, it confronted the murloc leader. 15 12 94 15 16 
283. Sweep everywhere. Plus 1500. Injury figures keep popping up on both sides' heads. Panda Panda can kill Shark with 1020 points of health each time, while Shark's attack power is constant at 100, and its damage is reduced by armor. Each attack can kill Panda Panda with 94 points of health. His attack speed is twice as slow as Panda Panda. It takes only 2 seconds to strike. His skill sweep all directions also causes physical damage, affected by armor, and the final damage is 283 points. Jonan estimated that Panda Panda could kill Shark Lion about 1000 points of health in 1 minute, but he would lose 3103 points of health by the Murloc leader. Fortunately, the village chief Blair can provide healing support. Panda Panda can recover 1,500 points of blood per minute. Panda Panda will naturally recover 3 points of blood per second, and it can recover 180 points in 1 minute. Therefore, Panda Panda and Shalarian are hard pressed, in fact, only 1,423 HP will be lost in 1 minute. Its blood volume is huge, and there is no problem with support. While the Murloc leader only has 3,000 health points, he can only hold on to Panda Panda's claws for 3 minutes. The ending is obvious. In the end, the tall Murloc leader fell heavily to the ground and quickly decayed and disappeared, but the trident in his hand fell out and turned into a white card. Also at this time, a regional announcement sounded, kill the Murloc leader and successfully repelled the Murloc attack. It took 89 minutes and 46 seconds. Congratulations to all the warriors for successfully protecting Kazaner. Ding, unlock the N2 difficulty of Guardian Kasana. Ding, you killed more than 10,000 little murlocs alone in a single battle. After completing the dungeon achievement, you will be rewarded with a treasure chest. Ding, all clearance rewards have been automatically distributed to your secret camp. Ding, the current copy is locked, please exit the game within 3 minutes you can automatically teleport back to the task hall. Cleared the level, played the old shark's trident, and completed an achievement, and got an achievement chest. Jonan was a little excited, he quickly picked up the white card dropped by the murloc leader. No accident, it was Weapon Deep Sea Trident. Card name, Weapon Deep Sea Trident card color, white card star number, one star card type, equipment card usage level, None Mana Consumption, 10 Explanation 1, use this card to equip you with a Weapon Deep Sea Trident, with an attack power of plus 10, allowing you to use Sweep All Directions once a minute to cause 3 times the attack power to all hostile targets within 5 meters of 360 degrees physical damage. This is a very valuable card. The drop rate is extremely low. There are not only summoning cards in the card world, but also equipment cards. The player itself has no offensive power. Only equipped with weapons will have offensive power. At the same time, it will attract the hatred of monsters. Players rush through the arena, who doesn't want to own a weapon. Even if you don't need it, you can pull the wind with you. And the deep sea trident looks handsome enough, and its attributes are not bad. It can be both practical and beautiful. It has always been sought after and there are countless players who want this weapon. Especially those collectors and equipment streaming players. This card is not bound and can be traded. Jonan knows very well that if it is hung in the trade, selling a thousand gold coins is definitely not a problem. However, he is not willing to sell it easily. This card is rare, I played it for two days first, it was fun, and I will consider selling it later, or use it to synthesize a black card. Jonan thought silently, and then he no longer stayed in the locked copy space. With a thought, he communicated with the system, exited the copy, and then was teleported back to the mission hall. He swept his gaze, and there were three treasure chests in front of him, which were dungeon rewards. The first treasure box was golden, with the four characters level one experience treasure box on it. Jonan opened it, and his body flashed with light. Ding, you have gained 76 experience points. 
Level 1 Experience Treasure Box can open 1 to 99 points of experience, Jonan drew 76 points, which is considered satisfactory. He looked at the second treasure chest again. This treasure box is called Level 1 Material Treasure Box. Jonan opened it, and a system prompt immediately sounded in his ear, Congratulations on getting the Murloc's Tears times 1, the Murloc's Scales times 5, the Murloc's Teeth times 6, and the Small Murloc Bloodline times 1, Yeming Zhu, Rare, times 1. There is actually another rare material. Yu reading www.yuyuganshu.com is not bad, not bad, please store it in the warehouse later. Zhou Nan nodded in satisfaction. There are endless materials in the card world. Generally speaking, materials have three purposes. The first is to strengthen or make cards. The second is to sell to merchant NPC in exchange for gold coins. Of course, it can also be sold on consignment or auction in the trading house, in short, it is exchanged for gold coins. The third is to save, wait until the collection task is swiped out in the task hall, if it happens, you will turn it in and you can get the task reward. General players, unless they are in short supply of gold coins, they rarely sell materials to NPC merchants. Because the income is too low, NPCs collect materials as rubbish. If it is a rare material that the player does not use, it will probably be listed in the trading house. If other players need it, they will pay a high price to buy it. As for completing the collection task, it depends on luck. Once it hits, the income will be very good. The task reward is not limited to gold coins. There may also be cards, experience chests, game points, etc. Jonan is a squirrel. Regardless of whether the materials are useful or not, save them first. Anyway, the warehouse is still very spacious nowadays. There are a thousand grids in it. Each grid can store one kind of item. Similar items can also be stored in stacks, up to stacks. 99. Look at the third treasure box. This is the Blair's Gift treasure box. After opening, a window interface popped up in front of Joe Nan. The interface displayed Blair's thank you letter, which was nothing more than thanking the brave card warrior for saving. Small fishing villages and the like. Joe Nan raised his hand and crossed the upper right corner to close it. Looking at the treasure chest again, there are four Taituo gold coins, a game score card, and an unidentified white card. Joe Nan quickly put away the items in the gift box. The face value of the game score card is 10, and it can be exchanged for 10 game points after use. Only the first copy of the game can be obtained. Of course, if you pass other levels of difficulty, such as N2, N3, etc., you can still receive the point card, and the face value of the point card will be higher. As for the unidentified white card, it needs to be authenticated before you can see the attribute information. To identify the card, you have to use the general skill identification. However, once the card is identified, it will be bound, and the bound items cannot be traded so most of the cards that can be sold in the trading bank are unidentified cards. Joe Nan opened the attribute panel, consumed only one skill point, and set the general skill identification to LV1. Players can get a skill point every time they level up. The role of skill points is to upgrade their skills. It takes one skill point to rise to LV1, two skill points to rise to LV2, three skill points to rise to LV3, and so on. The higher the skill level, the stronger the power naturally. For example, identification, LV1 can only identify white cards, LV2 can identify green cards, LV3 can identify blue cards. Ding, it takes 10 mana points to identify the current card. May I ask whether it is identified? Identification. Ding, complete the appraisal. Congratulations on your 1 star white card Field Black Bear Rob. Card name, Field Black Bear. Rob, bound, card color, white card star number, 1 star card type, summoning card usage level, 
none mana consumption, ten description, summon field black bear rob to fight for you. The field black bear has excellent attack power and attack speed, with 2000 HP, 2225 attack power, and 2.0 attack speed, positioning melee berserkers. Trash card. Jonan shook his head, and looked forward to the last treasure chest. This is an achievement treasure chest, which is rare. After opened it, Jonan saw a white card named Heroic Village Guard Sogol. Card name, Heroic Village Guard? Sogol, bound, card color, white card star number, one star card type, summoning card usage level, none mana consumption, ten description one. This card is limited to use in the Dungeon Guardian Kazaner. It consumes 10 mana points to summon the Heroic Village Guard Sogol to fight for you. Sogol can automatically activate fortifications and wood collection tasks, and can build a Heroic Sentry Tower. When the Heroic Sentry is completed, Sagar will automatically board the Sentry and turn into an Archer to attack the invading Murlocs. Sogol has 300 health, 30 attack power. 50 meters range of bow and arrow, and 1.0 attack speed. Note 2, you can get this card by killing more than 10,000 murlocs on any difficulty Guardian Kazaner dungeon. If you already own the Heroic Village Guard card, you will not be able to get more, replaced with 50, gold. So the Heroic Village Guard came out here. Jonan had a little surprise. He had seen other players use the Heroic Village Guard card, and he was quite envious before. The heroic village guard can move bricks and chop wood. Isn't this a single pass assistant? Everyone can only have one proper village guard card. Wait a minute, if I give this card to the synthetic black card, can it? Swipe out another card? After this card is synthesized into a black card, what attributes will it have? Jonan only felt a flash of light in his mind and he happened to have a junk field black bear card in his hand, so he decided to combine these two cards. Ding, the card synthesis needs 20 mana points. Ding, affected by the talent of black card synthesis, this time the card synthesis has created a secret recipe. One a star white card heroic village guard? Sogol and one a star white card black bear? Rob must synthesize a mutated black card. Calculating. Ding, congratulations on successfully synthesizing a one star black card Ying Xiong Solo. Bear? Solo? The Snow Bear Pan Bao and the Night Cat Daskar synthesized Panda Panda, wait a minute, I seem to find the synthesis pattern, so the black card synthesis depends on the name. Jonan has a little understanding, now look at the attribute information of Hero Solo. Card name, Ying Xiong? Solo, bound, card color, black card star number, one star card type, summoning card usage level, none mana consumption, 10 description 1, consume 10 mana points to summon the bear solo to fight for you. British bear solo can build a British bear watch tower within 3 minutes. When the British bear watch tower is completed, solo climbs up to the watch tower and becomes a bear thrower, gaining long range attack power. British Bear Watch Tower has a durability of 2,500, Axe Thrower Solo's attack power is 30, a throwing range of 50 meters, and an attack speed of 2.0. Description 2, Special Effects If you use this card in the Guardian Kasana instance, Hero Solo can automatically activate and complete fortifications and wood collection tasks. Explanation 3, Before the Great Bear Watch Tower was built, Solo the Great Bear had no attack power and only had 100 health points. Jonan repeatedly read the attribute information of Ying Xiang. Solo several times. UU reading www.uukonshu.com Shen Temo Ying Xiang Watch Tower. The output of the Ying Xiang Axe Thrower is not bad, the attack speed is 2.0, which means you can hit twice per second, and the damage per second can reach 60 and the old man can be killed in 50 seconds. Shark. Gee, it's very strong. Jonan thinks this British bear card is very good. I turned the heroic village guard card into a British bear card. According to the truth, 
if I kill more than 10,000 little murlocs in the Guardian Kazaner instance, I will also get a heroic village guard card. Why don't you take off yet? Get a few more bears, and there will be no shortage of bricks in the future. Isn't it just playing single pass? Jonan immediately decided to play Guardian Kazaner on the N1 difficulty again. One is to test the actual combat ability of Rob, the hero, and second, to see if we can get another heroic village guard card. Jonan didn't enter other people's room this time, he created it himself. The default room name is N1, the Emperor of the Black Card. With Panda? Panda and Bear Bear? Rob, Jonan felt that he was already capable of playing single pass, so why not team up with the newcomers? As soon as the game room was created, before Jonan could click to start, a player entered the room. Fuck, you have the face to build your own house. Jonan was taken aback, by coincidence, the player who entered the room turned out to be I choose Li Bai. Hey, that's not right, how did you pass the level 1? Did you pass the level just now? It was the one called Random who brought you? It's really cheap for you as a rookie. I choose Li Bai full of mockery. Joe Nan is no stranger to this, what kind of game player has he never seen? Don't talk nonsense, just kick I'll choose Li Bai out of the room, and then immediately start the game. I choose Li Bai I am very upset. This vegetable chicken actually kicked himself. He then posted a shout in the public chat channel, Attention, everyone, there is a rookie named Emperor Haika, don't enter his room, he has cheated me several times. Hey, there are too many pits, there are reliable brothers and friends to play together. It's better to form a fixed team, the passerby team is too difficult. Buy Deep Sea Trident at a high price, click me to add friends, the price will definitely satisfy you. The chat room was very lively, and there was everything to say. I'll choose Lee by S speech was quickly overwhelmed, and few people cared. He posted it several times in a row, with a slightly better mood, and then looked at the game room list. Suddenly his eyes brightened. He found a game room, N2, come here anytime. Is that the room that you just opened? Did you hit N2? I'll choose Lee by hurry up and click into this room, glance at the player list, and the first one is whatever you want. Big guy take me. I'll choose Lee by hurriedly spoke. He has already determined that this is just come with black card emperor to pass N1 guardian Kazena. With such a chicken, you can clear the level. This is definitely a master who comes here. This time I mixed with him and passed N2. I will choose Lee by I am quite looking forward to it. There are two other players in this game room. Perfect card master, is this guy good? The last card samurai, let's go. Come as you please, the fourth floor is a pit, I like to leave early, don't take him. After three short sentences, I choose Lee by a prompt window popped up, you have been kicked out of the game room by the host casually. Jonan had already arrived at the east gate of the small fishing village of Kazanal. Bear Bear? Solo takes three minutes to build the Bear Watch Tower, which is just time to prepare. If I move the bricks by myself, it will take about 25 minutes. The third wave of murlocs must have been brushed out, the two archers in the south of the village. NPC can only be sold, let Solo build a defensive tower here, he incarnates as a bear thrower and the little murloc who withstands the east road in a short time should be no problem, let Panda go to guard the west road, foolproof, I still have to move bricks. After the fortifications are completed, I can transfer Panda back to the south of the village to get a single pass. Hey, there is still a shortage of bricks. Jonan whispered. He didn't dare to waste time. He chose a place at the east gate of the village and threw the English bear card. With the consumption of ten magic points, with a bang, the card became a bear. The head man, who is nearly two meters tall, has a burly and sturdy figure, has a black coat, only wears a leather pants, and carries an axe in his right hand. General Solo, quickly build the bear watch tower here. Good host. 
The British bear Solo could even speak, but he also acted immediately, holding an axe to cut logs, unexpectedly a model of the sentry tower appeared out of thin air in front of him, and there was a construction progress bar on the top of the model, so Rona when the axe chops it, its progress bar goes backward. Zhou Nan didn't let Ying Xiang Solo go to move bricks, let alone cut wood, because he was afraid of missing things in the early stage. For him, the first three waves are the most dangerous. As long as the fortifications are completed, the customs will be cleared. Then Zhou Nan went to the west of the village to release Panda Panda, let it go to the west of the village to kill it, and then move bricks by himself. Soon, Solo the Great Bear built the Great Bear Watch Tower. The Watch Tower was unremarkable. It was a simple wooden platform, about six meters high, with a triangular flag on it. There is the word British Bear in gold, and the flag is flying automatically. Ying Xiang Solo quickly climbed to the top of this watchtower, and he became an axe thrower with an infinite number of hatchets in his hand. Not long after, the little murlocs came to attack, Panda Panda guarded West Road that was as stable as Mount Tai, and the performance of Ying Xiang Solo also made Zhou Nan very satisfied. His attack power is 30. One axe can kill a small murloc. The attack speed is 2.0 which means he can throw two axes per second and kill 120 small murlocs in one minute. The first wave of little murlocs, only 100 murlocs can be used for each strange eloquence, and it will be finished in three minutes. They swayed over. They weren't enough for Solo the British Bear to kill. They came to kill one. Solo the British Bear didn't need to exert all his strength. None of the little murlocs could walk within 50 meters of the village entrance. The second wave of little murlocs, each of the strange mouths brushed 200, and the same was done in three minutes, which was also stress-free for the British bear solo. The third wave of murlocs is similar, only 300, and only 100 murlocs are swept in an average of one minute. Ying Xiang solo uses his axe and will not let any murlocs enter the village. This output explodes. Zhou Nan sighed. He was a little less efficient in moving bricks this time. He spent 29 minutes. It is worth mentioning that the big carp was brushed on the west road and was killed by Panda Panda, but it was a pity that nothing fell out. When the captain of the lame guard built the wall, the fourth wave of murlocs was almost refreshed. General Solo, come down, move the position, abandon this guard tower and rebuild one at the south gate. Zhou Nan came to the Ying Xiang watch tower and shouted. Yes, my master. Ying Xiang Solo quickly jumped from the Ying Xiang watch tower, and then went down to the south gate of the village at Zhou Nan's instructions, and rebuilt the Ying Xiang watch tower a little further back. It also takes three minutes to build this sentry tower. Zhou Nan watched the British bear Solo swinging his axe at the construction model of the guard tower, and suddenly thought, each hero guard tower has 2,500 durability. UU reading www.uugonshu.com can build more than one, then can't I? Artificially build fortifications, use those bear towers as barricades to attract firepower, or simply block roads. He thinks this is a good idea, but it is not necessary now. Panda Panda blocks the door in front and Ying Xiang Solo throws his axe in the back. It is already a safe pass. Of course, Zhou Nan still has to do a collection task. After the collection mission was completed, Blair, the village chief, released a healing technique every one minute, and everything was fine. Zhou Nan is no longer stupidly guarding the village, he ran to the woods in the north of the village with the deep sea trident, ready to go wild and brush treasures. There are six wild monsters in this forest, which are grey jackal, Mutant Murloc, Black Goat, Iron Helmet Goblin, Mud Slime, and Granite Golem. The only thing Zhou Nan can fight against now is the Mutant Murloc. Mutated Murloc, HP 100, Left Hand Attack Power 12, Right Hand Attack Power 23, Left and Right Hand Attack Power, Attack Speed 0.8, Alert Range 10 meters, Death Refresh Time 60 seconds. This Mutant Murloc has a short horn on its head holding a small knife in each hand, 
and is a circle larger than the ordinary murloc. It sits next to a puddle of about 3 square meters. Once someone enters his alert range, he will kill with two small knives. Jonan is now level 1, with 100 health points equipped with a deep sea trident, attack power is 10, and the attack speed is not fixed, and it can never reach 1.0. He confidently ran over and stood with the mutant little Murloc, killing him in just ten strokes and reaping a trophy. Murloc Scimitar, Left Hand Special Items, Special Materials, Give it to the Captain of the Guard Caker, you will get unexpected gains. The so-called unexpected harvest, Jonan has known for a long time, it is just a bottle of small shimmer potion that can restore twenty points of health. There is a little trick here. If you pass the left-hand knife and right-hand knife of the Murloc Scimitar to the lame guard Captain Caker at the same time, you can get five gold coins, but the explosion rate of the right-hand knife is lower than that of the left-hand knife. Many times, it is normal for the mutant little Murloc to be unable to draw a right-handed knife after killing him more than a dozen times. Jonan didn't expect to use this mutant little Murloc to earn gold coins, he was just playing. Hit it casually the murloc didn't bother to turn in both knives. There will be more young bears in the future, so I will bring them to the wild to build towers. Doesn't it take off to brush these wild monsters? Jonan thought silently, and felt the English bear card more useful. Time passed, unconsciously, the last wave of murlocs came out. When Jonan returned to the village square, he saw the murloc leader Sharon and Panda Panda fighting passionately, and the British bear Solo's axe lost even more happily. 30 30 15 30 30 30 Smashing attack Dense and bright red damage figures kept popping up from the top of Shark's head, and its blood bar went wild, and within a minute, the murloc leader fell on his back, and it was useless to swipe all directions for the second time. Jonan has never seen such a crisp old shark. It's almost made of paper, sorry. My card is a bit strong. Jonan was a little proud, and then a system prompt sounded. Jonan sent back to the mission hall of his secret camp. There were four treasure chests in front of him. They were the first level experience treasure box, the first level material treasure box, Blair's gift treasure box, and the achievement treasure box. Killing more than 10,000 murlocs, there really is an achievement chest. Jonan was full of expectations. The first thing he opened was the achievement treasure chest, which contained a scroll, a fist-sized shiny diamond and a card. The scroll is N1 Guardian Kasana 1 Pass Voucher, which is bound to props. After obtaining it, it automatically adds 30 game points. It can also be hung on the wall of the secret camp mission hall as an ornament. The diamonds in the treasure chest are not materials, but game items that are more precious than game points, which can be used to upgrade the buildings in the secret camp. This diamond is obviously a single pass reward. There should be a single pass N2, too. Two. You can upgrade the card goddess statue with 10 diamonds. I have a talent for black card synthesis, and there is no shortage of powerful cards. The game points are first. Save, wait for the level of the card goddess statue to rise and then draw a card after the chance of drawing a high evil card is a good deal. Next, it is the time to decide your destiny. Jonan took out the card from the achievement treasure chest, didn't look at it for now, took a deep breath, and prayed secretly before looking at it. That is a one-a-star white card, heroic village guard? Brody. Ha 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 ha, it's done, it really is the heroic village guard card, it seems that there is hope for forming a brick-moving brigade. Jonan is overjoyed. Ordinary players can only have one Heroic Village Guard card. Jonan synthesized the Heroic Village Guard card into a Bear Bear card, which can now be obtained again, which means that he can swipe the Heroic Village Guard card, and then use it to continuously synthesize English Bear card or similar black cards. In this way, he will not be short of the brick mover and lumberjack in the Guardian Kasana dungeon, and it will be easier to brush this dungeon. This is an advantage that other players cannot have. Jonan actually doesn't care about the logging task, 
but the task of moving bricks is the key to clearing Guardian Kisana. Difficulty N1 requires moving 200 bricks, Difficulty N2 requires moving 400 bricks, Difficulty N3 requires moving 800 bricks, and Difficulty N4 need to move 1,600 bricks, the highest difficulty is N5, then 3,200 bricks have to be moved. The higher the difficulty of the dungeon, the more players need to move bricks. I have experience in moving bricks. It takes about 25 to 30 minutes to move 200 bricks. On average, 1 minute is 6 or 7 yuan. If this is N5 difficulty, 3200 bricks, wouldn't it be necessary to move to the wasteland? Joe Nanyu thinks that the more he wants to accumulate a large number of bear cards. At this time, he went to open the experience treasure chest again, gained 56 points of experience, flashed a golden light on his body, and upgraded. Ding, your level is raised to LV2, skill points are plus 1, the upper limit of health is plus 100, the upper limit of mana is plus 100, and your status is full. A new skill point was added. Jonan didn't worry about using it. After opening other treasure chests, he harvested six low-level materials, 39 gold coins and an unidentified white card. After using the appraisal technique to appraise the white card, Jonan obtained a long-tongue frog leap. Trash card, if you use this card to combine with heroic village guard card, what will happen? Will it be a frog? Jonan shook his head. The long-tongue frog is a famous garbage summoned beast. He is reluctant to use the heroic village guard to synthesize with it. He thinks it is better to synthesize a bear again. Go to the trading house, I have 81 gold coins now, maybe I can buy a field black bear card. Jonan then left the task hall and went to the trading house. The trading house is actually a large-scale online shopping platform, equipped with a huge display and divided into two sections, the auction house and the free market, which is very convenient to operate. Nowadays, more than 90% of the products in the trading houses are materials, and there are not many card products. Among the card products, 90% are unidentified cards. This is mainly because of the card binding mechanism. Generally speaking, the cards drawn from the card goddess statue and the quest reward cards are bound when they are obtained. The same is true for the cards dropped by many monsters. Unidentified cards can be traded at will, but as long as once authenticated, it will be bound and can no longer be linked to the transaction bank. Therefore, although there are now too many players in the card world, you you reading www.yuyuganshu.com Com but Joe Nan felt that he might not be able to buy the field black bear card in the trading house. Fortunately, there is a search function in the transaction line. Joe Nan first searched for field black bear card in the free market sector. Swipe, three commodity information pops up in the transaction line window, which have been arranged according to the commodity price from low to high. One star field black bear, one price, 100 gold. 10 field black bear cards are packed, as long as 666. 1 star field black bear, 99,999 gold. Joe Nan immediately locked the second piece of product information, 10 field black bear cards, with a total price of 666 gold, and an average of only 66.6 .6 gold. This price is very reasonable. But Joe Nan still doesn't have enough money. He frowned, clicked on the product information, and found the nickname King of the Cave of the player who was selling these 10 field black bear cards, and tried to send him a message, Boss, can the black bear card be opened and sold? Unexpectedly, the opposite side would reply in seconds, OK, 100 gold one. It's cheaper, OK. 99 gold, the lowest on the entire network. It can't be lower. 98 gold. Buy or not? Can 70 gold sheets work? 5 packs, 350 gold, take it. Buy or not? Where did the boss get so many black bear cards? Trade secrets. Can you get more field black bear cards? Can. 
Then add a friend first, and then I will find you to buy it if you have money. Row.